What's up everybody, it's Pastor G. I'm excited because this is 2017. This is my first video of 2017 and I'm excited. I wanna say Happy New Year to those of you that crossed over from 2016 into 2017. This is a year of great expectations. You gotta take your faith and your expectations to another level in 2017 because God is going to allow you to accomplish the thing that you were never able to accomplish before. This is your year to take my life, your life to the next level. But I'm here to tell you, it's a year that we're going to be challenged with some things on another level that we've never been challenged before. This is a year of specifics. Now, I know some of you say that 27, 2016 was a difficult year. I lost some things. I had some tragedies in my life and we all suffered in 2016. But we can't allow our 2016 to invade 2017. We cannot allow the things that happened to us last year to stop us from expecting greater this year. Expect. It's going to be a challenge to expect on this level because of the things that we experienced in our past. But that's okay. God is going to give us the strength. He's going to give us the ability to enter into our new. Now, the challenges are, are, are these. You got to be so specific. Everything has to be very specific this year. That, that includes your friends, places you go, the things that you do, and the things that you allow, and the people that you allow into your circus, circle. They have to be people that are specifically designed for next level. They have to be people that have great expectations. See, sometimes in our level, in our thinking, in our great thinking, we allow people to invade our circle that that, that, that talk, negative talk, that that will in, infiltrate our mind. And then it it causes us to to compromise on the things that we know that we suppose that we are supposed to be doing. So this year is a year of greatness. Everything that enters into your life and into your world must be things of greatness designed for greatness designed for greatness it has to be on your level now you got to think of yourself as god think of you god sees you at sees you as great so everything that enters in you have a choice you can allow it to enter or you can deny its entry now this is difficult again because there are some people that are great friends of yours but they're not conducive for your next level and see the sometimes it's the greatest challenge of entering to, into my new is allowing the old to hold on to me. Now, this is very difficult, and I know that it is. this is a decision that I've had to make and several other people have to make as well. The greatest challenge of possessing something new is depossessing something old. Uh, you, you just don't have the space in your life right now for the newness to come because old has cluttered your life. So now we have to go about the task of getting rid of some old things that were good things. Some old things that, that were, had sentimental value, but they never were designed to take me to the next level. And it's okay that you let them go. It's okay that you let them go. People, places, and things. It's okay because you're about to get something that's 10 times better in this year, 2017. And I am excited about it because it's difficult, but very doable. Because you are going to the next level because it's in God's time. 2016, you couldn't make it. You tried a lot, but it just didn't happen. 2017 is God's time. So he's going to allow it to happen just because he designed it for 2017. Now, you know me, I like to go to scripture because it is the word of God. And I'd say this so many times. It is the script that paints the picture. Scripture, the script that paints the picture. If you want a vivid picture of what your future is going to be and you want the validation and the power of God to endorse it and it's the power that can make all things happen for you you have to go to, to the scripture and you have to read the scripture now i know there's people that are that that are about to get into scripture that never gotten into scripture before now i'm here to tell you this don't let your experience with someone from your past that said that they were uh, uh, a child of god and they did not act the way that you thought a child of god should act don't let them mess up your future because of your experience with them. I, I always like to tell people that, that sometimes you run into people that say they are God people and they don't represent God well. So don't throw all God's people in the box with someone that did not represent him well. 
Amen. Amen. So now we got to go to the scripture because the script, this is a script that paints the picture. And it, this is very powerful for this next year because there is enlightenment that is coming and it's going to come specifically from God. There's direction that directions that you're about to receive. And you might say, I'm not familiar. What did that come from? It's God giving you direction because he's got something specific. He's got a place that he wants you to be and only God can give it to you. So this is why this year has to be a, a year of closeness to God. Closeness. You got to get close to him to hear these specific instructions because greatness is a part of your package. I'm talking to you. Greatness is a part of your package in this 2017 year. Now in Isaiah, it's the 60th, 60th chapter and the first verse. I want to read a couple of a couple of verses from Isaiah 60, and I want you to listen to this and, and apply it to your life. Notice this, it says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. He says, now, this is 2017, even though there was tragedies last year, there was mishaps, there was uh, some unfortunate moments last year. He says, but don't let it affect 2017. He says, the new time and the new year is here. So arise, get up. This is something that you're going to have to do. You're going to have to allow yourself to rise up from the failure. Arise. And he says, then he says, shine, arise, shine. For thou light is come. Now, what is light? Now, we understand that in, in this is, is, is a sign of revelation illumination understanding he says you can arise now you didn't have the understanding last year but i'm giving you the understanding this year shine because this is a gift from god for thy light has come the gift of understanding the gift of god is coming this year so arise uh, by faith get up by faith shine for thy light has come and the glory of the lord is risen up on it now notice what it says the glory of the lord is risen but you got to rise you got to shine because now you're about to receive information illumination and then you're about to receive favor and that's beautiful he says i'm giving you favor for the glory of the lord is risen up on thee. you are about to find favor in whatever you put your hands to do. And we know that it's very specific this year. God has already told you the things that you're about to accomplish. You've already gotten unction. And he said, what makes it work this year opposed to last year is that the favor of God, because you are getting up out of the, out of the issues, you're getting up out of the things that's been trying to hold you down and you're going to shine. And the glory is, and the favor of God is about to attract the persons that you need in your life to accomplish the things that you were designed to accomplish. In other words, God is about to put favor. And, and, and there's a saying that one day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor, meaning everything that I tried to accomplish in my own ability and couldn't, God is going to give me favor and it's going to happen just like this. It's about to work for me. Say it. It's about to work for me because of God's favor that's on my life. Now you got to receive that. Second verse says, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. Now, in this particular scripture, it says darkness shall cover the earth. We understand that we're living in critical times. We know that darkness has covered the, the earth, misinformed. There's so many things going on. There's so many distractions. There's so many mishaps. There's so many killings that's going on. The uh, darkness has covered the earth in gross. Notice this, it says gross darkness. The people, people are lost. People are walking around lost. They don't know where to go, what to do, how to do it. But notice this. It says, but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Wow, that's very powerful because God creates situations for me to shine. When and he says, My the favor of him is upon me, so I can walk in the places where there's darkness, where uh, and literally there's confusion, and people don't know what to do. And God says, I'll have a put my favor and my glory on you. You'll walk into that situation, and they'll see the light on you, the favor of God on you. He creates situations for you to shine, and that's how he does. Uh, completely see this is what he does with his children always when the world falls into calamity he puts the glory on his children so that the world 
will gravitate to him to his people you have the answer to the world's problem inside of you but you got to be led by god to allow it to happen i've been doing a teaching in the book of daniel how daniel was in captivity in babylon and god gave him the gift of interpretation of dreams and, and god gave him this because he knew that there was going to be a king that was confused and he was going to need and answer so God automatically knew uh, for, before time to to give Daniel his child uh, uh, the ability to interpret dream so that he could exalt him in the kingdom that's very powerful and that's the same thing that God is saying this year I have given you the gift that when the government or when the world or when people get in trouble the light will shine on you you will be the one that can answer you would be the one that that would be able to solve the problem. Now that's very powerful. That's the favor of God that 2017 brings for those that have the faith to believe, for those that have the ability to say 2016 is over, 2017 is here. And I'm about to walk in the favor and in the glory of God. That's very powerful. The third verse says, and the Gentiles shall come to thy light and the king and and kings to the brightness of thy rising now notice that it says the gentiles in in in, in, in this context it means that the people that are lost and there's people that are lost in all categories of life in business in, in church in family they are lost and they, he knows what he says your favor will draw them and the gentiles shall come to thy life even in the family situation when there's chaos when you come you will bring the calm and then it says and kings and kings to the brightness of thou rising or to the brightness of the favor they'll see the favor that means that that mean that people that are in the place of influence shall see thy light and this is very powerful because nebuchadnezzar in the book of daniel was a king that was very rich but he could not sleep because his dream daniel is in captivity and and, and had had small uh, 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 resources but when people are rich that have calamity they'll trade their their riches for your gift it's a fair exchange i can't sleep and they say you have the dream then you have the ability to interpret the dream so i will exchange my wealth for your gift that is what's happening that's why he says here he says and kings to the brightness of our horizon so people of influence this year You've been trying to get in position. There's there's things that have been eluding you. But this year, the favor of God is going to shine. People are in position are going to be drawn to thee. You, you won't have to beg this time. You won't have to plead this time. They will be drawn to you because of the light of God that shines up on your life. Now, that's what I'm excited about in this 2017 year. This is a year of great expectations. Great things will happen because the favor of God is on your life. And I want you to understand something. I'm talking to people that have failed miserably in many times. I am one of the ones. This is not by your own power. This is not by your own might, but this is by you getting close to God. He's going to he's going to shine his favor on you. This is just not some regular thing that you can do on your own ability. This is some extraordinary thing that God is going to allow to come upon you and the world is going to take notice of your favor and your gift. All the trouble and all the sacrifices are going to be worth it this year. You will understand because the light of God has come upon you. Now I'm speaking this into the life of people that might even think that, man, forget all of that. I'm ready to give up. Don't give up now. If you were going to give up, you should have done it 2016. You crossed over to this blessed year 2017. Now arise, shine for the glory, the favor of God is on your life you are about to do what you've never done before great expectation just keep the faith and watch god's promise come to pass in your life you are the one you have the light you have the favor of god now stand up and walk in and do not be denied in 2017 pastor g is out i love you let's have a great year because god has called us to greatness. I'm out. I love you.